Here we have a watch in Teleplay. And there are a couple, um, obviously you're probably wondering why the heck is there a soap right on the watch? And that's because I don't have a watch stand. Right now I promise to make this video for Franklin who is using uh, Teleplay on Android to advertise his watches. So I promised Franklin I'd make a video for him today and I'll make a beta, and I'll make a better one for him um, either Monday or Tuesday of next week with a good watch stand. <laughs> so Franklin, um, first I want to show you my physical setup. Um, here I have the green blanket. Number one, I have a green blanket on a wall, and it's being lit by one, two 100 watt LED daylight bulbs, and then I have the watch on top of uh, cubes. You don't need that many cubes. You can get away with um, just putting a box right here because within teleplay, that, that's fine. The camera doesn't see all the cubes. It only sees the topmost cubes. So you can have a setup like this. Make sure the watch is away from the green blanket and notice how there's no green blanket directly underneath uh, the watch itself. Uh, so that's my physical setup. So the key thing, and, and also I'm lighting the watch with one, two, three lights. And because watches are obviously extremely reflective, I what I usually do is I put the lights like really close to the watch, like seven inches away from it right here. Um, and that's it. That's it for the physical setup. So just make sure to light your watch uh, really uh, closely with like two to three lights. And then light the green screen blanket separately and make sure that the product, the watch, and the green screen blanket are a little bit separated from one another, like I have here, okay? Moving forward, so now I'm in Android. So one thing I wanted to note about Android is it looks like there's a little bug, which I'll resolve by Monday, where the backgrounds just are extremely like pixelated. Notice how this is like the background is pixelated. And then in iOS, give me a second. In iOS, notice how nice and professional it looks. In Android, it just looks not good. So I'll have this fixed by Monday, Tuesday. So you have the backgrounds in the app are looking nice. Um, Okay, and now, so let's, um, let's, let me pause this. So let's, ah, okay, there it goes. So um, I'm gonna pretend that I'm just starting from scratch. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, go to the gear icon. Let's pretend I'm starting everything, everything from scratch. First thing you wanna do is enter your email address, the same email address you used to purchase the kit, and that'll unlock all of the paid content within the app that's right here. Okay, second thing we wanna do is do the calibration. So I'm gonna put this back right here. Give me a second, ah, okay. Okay, I, I, I know it looks terrible because why, you know, but the soap is the only holder I had uh, for a watch and I wanted to make this video for you today. Give me a sec. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, let, let's uh, put the watch on top of the cubes like that. Okay, it shouldn't be like that. Okay, okay, good enough for now. So now let's go to the gear icon, click on green screen, and now click on calibrate. And you want to, with Android, I find that it's better to just press calibrate on a few random spots of the blanket while kicking, while clicking calibrate multiple times. And eventually within like four times of clicking it, you'll get to a point where um, the product looks pretty good. Obviously with the soap, it's, without the soap, it's gonna look a lot better. But I, I like how nice and crisp, I like how it's nice and crisp right now. Let's, give me a sec, uh, it's gonna fall again. Okay, so that's it. That's how you, cal that's how I usually calibrate it once I have the physical setup and the lighting made. Okay, and, um, and then once you calibrate, um, you download 
you start downloading backgrounds. So one easy way to uh, find backgrounds within Teleplay is just go here and then go here and then search for the word stand. Okay. Okay, and then there's gonna be nothing in video preview, but there will be a lot under photo preview. So one of the issues right now is that the thumbnails aren't showing up, but what I would do is just play around and see what happens. See, neon stand four. And basically what I like to do with, um, and then once you find something you like, uh, like for example, give me a sec. What I like doing with, sta with stand type of backgrounds is, uh, give me a sec. Okay, what I like, what I would do in this case is I would raise physically the watch a little bit higher. So that way, when I turn the turntable back on, um, it looks like it's levitating off of that of that um, stand, right off of that digital stand. Um, also, Franklin, make sure you have the very latest Android app installed because with this one you can uh, you can manually focus so that your watch always stays in focus. Um, and, and also another thing, make sure that your green spill suppression is turned on. Uh, you want to turn this down to 0.4. And then click apply. Okay. And now what this does, what the green spill suppression does is it removes all of that ugly green glare, which makes your video shoots look unrealistic. Um, and that's it. So Franklin, to summarize, um, I think the key things I want to summarize are number one, when you calibrate, just uh, point the camera on multiple points of the green screen until you get something that works. Um, and the second thing, uh, to search, I would just simply start on your end by searching for the word stand. Okay. waiting about like 10 seconds and go to photo preview and then start downloading various backgrounds and see what works for your the type of scene you wanna create. Um, and that's it, I hope this helps. Uh, I'll make another video on Monday, Tuesday where we have a real watch stand and where the backgrounds of Android are more high quality.